Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Reboot channel. I have Lauren Alexi. <laughs> I changed her the other day into this beautiful pink, light pink sleeper with white polka dots everywhere. And it says baby bunny hugs. And she is a Quinlan sculpt by Larley Eagles. And I love her so much. And she's wearing a hat because it's pretty cold where I am. <laughs> I love this. I love this body. I love the size. I love everything but her. Her hair will be messy. But I combed it the other day. And look, she has like, like she's painted so very well, but yeah, she has hat head. But I love her rooting. Yeah, she is. <laughs> oh, and she might get heavy after a while, so. But. Anyway, this is Lauren. Um, I had her as a boy before. But, uh, she could be a girl, too. She's so sweet. <laughs> so, I'm here today to do Julie's tag. Hi, Julie. Um, she has a lot of fun takes. Now, I would love to participate. Now, with this little wing gets heavy. I don't know. Maybe... If I put her, I should have adjusted this before. Okay, I did write the questions down on this paper, but I will link Julie's video somewhere and either down below or in a card. Probably both because some people don't have access to the cards that I put. So I will definitely put it down below. So thank you, Julie, for making up this fun tag. I'd love to play along. There are 10 questions, and she titles this My Collecting Journey. Now, throughout the years, I've done tags, and I answered all these questions before, but let's play some more. I'd still love to play. So number one, to what age did you enjoy your dolls as a young person? <sighs> Um, I always remembered loving dolls when I was a toddler, and I had a favorite doll, I named her Patricia, and I named, I had her for most of my young kid life, and when I turned about 12 or so, I really wanted a Cabbage Patch, and I knew I was getting kind of old, I see Kylie saying, oh, there she is, so pretty, way. I got distracted, wait, look. I'll have to show you her after. She is looking so pretty. Just sitting there so calmly. <laughs> and I really wanted a cabbage patch when I was 12. And thankfully, I did get one for Christmas. And I loved her so much. I only had the one cabbage patch. And I still have her. Um, her name that came to me, because they come to you with a birth certificate and a name already attached and her name was Falda Claudette because she came from Quebec and so they're French everything was French um well most of it there was English too but uh I didn't like Falda so I called her Claudette and I still have her she's in my bedroom but um when I turned maybe around like because when I got my my cabbage patch my other dolls i just kind of like got away from them um because i really loved it and but so after 12 i was with my cabbage patch and then around 15 or so that's when people were saying oh you're too old for dolls you should put the doll away so i did i put her in my closet and I had her in my closet for many years, probably like 
until I was 17. And I really, it was that moment when I really, really wanted to see her. Because I used to spend a lot of time with her. And I really missed her. So I went deep into my closet. I got her out. And she had a white mark on her chin. She was scraped. And I don't know if the paint scraped off or if white paint got on her and I was devastated I was so devastated and I cried and I cried but then something I don't know something just popped in my head and I don't know if anyone knows but I have a scar on my chin and you know what Claudette had the same mark on her chin and it's almost the same like design which is really interesting so it kind of clicked me hey we both have scars well she scar I have a scar and so it didn't matter to me that she was flawed like that so I re-accepted her I took her with me to university, but I kind of always had her hidden. Um, so people didn't really know that I had her until I was like, I don't know, in my, like around 1920 is when I kind of put her away again. But I still have her and she'll never go anywhere. So I guess technically I would say about 15 that's how old I was when I kind of stopped. So, number two. What is the first doll you bought as an adult? Well, she is my Emily Faye. I showed her in videos before. She's my first reborn. She's just over there. And I bought her in 2015. And so, all this time, I did not have any dolls. I didn't own any dolls. I used to have a Barbie collection as a kid. I sold everything um, but yeah so from the age of like 15 all the way to six years ago that's when I never had any dolls so and I have a video of how I stumbled upon this obby because I had I didn't collect any dolls of anything and it was just by accident that I stumbled upon this reborn doll thing. So um so what's the first doll? That is my reborn doll, uh the Sophia kit by Dawn's oh wait, Nines Donail. And I named her Emily Faye. <laughs> And I have videos of her before I feel like I felt like all of them. Number three, what type and how many dolls do you own now? Huh, my collection has grown immensely. Um, I got my first reborn. I was a little disappointed at her size, but I loved her realism. So I wanted to explore more dolls and more sizes, different sizes, different. Uh, genders, um, different artists, the styles, different types of dolls like rooted hair versus painted hair versus bald versus combination hair. I wanted a full bodied reborn doll. I wanted a belly plate. I wanted a doll with a back and belly plate. I wanted a belly plate with a gender. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I said, oh, and I wanted from preemie all the way up to child, uh, toddlers, everything. I wanted to explore everything I could. And then I discovered watching YouTube about these drink and wet systems, like the silicone dolls, and there's no way I could afford them. But then I thought, baby life, baby life. I always wanted a baby life as a kid. I never had one. So... I can buy them. So I started collecting baby lives. And I have a pretty big collection of those. I stopped though. I don't need any more. 
But how many dolls? I have lots of baby lines. I have six Ashton Drakes. I have a Volance. I have a Dolly or no, not a Dolly. I forget. I forget what my Hallie Janessa is. I'll have to look it up. So yeah, I just uh, I hope I was recording this whole time. Oh my goodness. So she is heavy, guys. My arm. Let me just see something. I just said that she put her down on there. And my shoulder is getting sore. <laughs> um, I have, I don't know, I think, I never counted the baby lives. I think there's, I have a picture of them though. So I should count the picture. And I'll insert the picture. Uh, I have uh, six Ashton Drakes. I, um... And I forget the Hallie Janessa baby that I have. I forget what brand she is. But I have a Volance too. And I would love to try and get some Paradise Galleries, but it's really hard for me in Canada to, to order those and give them to me without paying an arm and a leg for them. <laughs> So, and as for most of my Reborns, most of them, practically all of them, have been bought in Canada. So, yeah, I have a lot of dolls in my collection. And I love them all. I really do. Um, there's a few times that I sold a couple. And, and a few of them I did sell, I actually did want to sell. But most of them that I've sold, I really missed and so I either bought them back when the person who bought them for me was selling them. I stepped in my way, let me buy it back, please. <laughs> so, and um, other ones like Xena, she, um, I did sell the sculpt. And so I miss her so much. Well, my original Ponette, I named her Ponette. And she had brown hair, but she was yellow or sculpt as well. And I miss the sculpt so much. So when the same artist who made her had another one up for sale with black hair, I'm like, yes, I have to have it back in my collection. So I bought it. <laughs> <clears throat> but it's really hard for me to sell. And it's really hard for me to resist buying sometimes. Well, it's easy now because I can't afford it anymore, but. Back when I could afford it. Yeah. So. Um, number four. If money was unlimited. What doll would you buy? Sculpt and the artist. I forget the name of the sculpt. Oh I should have looked it up. It's a silicone. By Andrea Arcello. I think. I'll have to look it up. She's an Asian silicone baby. And I know that Lynn from Littlefoot Nursery owns one. And, um, but the first time I've seen the sculpt was on Hello, Melissa Sue. And she, I forget, I forget the names of the, I never watched them in a long time. So, I forget, I forget their names. I'll find out for you. I'll find out and insert it somewhere. So, so yeah, I'm not sure which what kind of silicone artist it could be because I don't know many. So <laughs> it's, it's like good for any anyway. So you know what? I've never really looked into it because I can't afford it. But I would love to have that particular scope. And I'll find out the name of it. I just don't know what it's called. <laughs> Number five. How often do you interact with your dolls every day? Every day. I love them. Even if it's just a, you're cute. <laughs> like, oh, you're so cute. I just gotta go like this. Or, <laughs> anyways, every day. Number six. What are your future plans for your collection? I just need to, I have this room now. So I just need to utilize space more so I can add more on display. I love my dolls on display and I do come in here every day and look around, interact and um, 
but yeah, I need to like maybe have more shelves. I love more shelves. So instead of spending money on dolls now or accessories, I have a ton of accessories and clothing and dolls. But now I start to need or I need to start thinking about like shelving places where to place them. So, um, number seven, what is your favorite dolly items to collect? <laughs> Everything. I, uh, I went through stages like bottles. I wanted bottles and then I wanted pacifiers. And then and if you've seen any of my videos of my collections, you would know that my pacifier collection is giant. My bottle collection is giant. My clothing is giant, um, bibs, hats, booties, socks, shoes, headbands, um, what else, um, blankets, uh, knitted things, homemade things, um, there's just, oh, lovely stuffed animals, I have a ton, a ton. <laughs> I love all the toys, rattles, these kind of things. It's beautiful, like old fashioned kind of things. Um, there's glass, glass, um, Dr. Brown. I love collecting bottles, diapers. I love collecting diaper prints, these things. This came in the box of me. Um, <laughs> just lots of things. I love collecting all of it. Baskets, mo like display baskets, Moses baskets. I have a cradle, I have a playpen. I have <sighs> just lots. I love it all. I love, I love it. I love it all. Oh, anyways. Um, number eight. Do you find your interest in dolls comes and goes? The only interest in my dolls that come and go are who I want to spend my time with. Um, and the size and the weight and even the gender. Um... Oh, and there are times when, like, even the type of videos that I do for YouTube changes. I remember when I was really into making stop-motion videos and role-playing, and I really enjoyed that. I kind of stopped doing that. Um, DIY videos, do-it-yourself videos, how-to videos, how to make fake milk, how to modify the bottles, how to modify the pacifiers. Um, just, I... So, the interest in that way changes. Um, what kind of doll I want to, like, like, for instance, oh, I can't see. She, like, Lauren has, oops, <laughs> my poor cat. Like, Lauren, and even the type of seasons. So, uh, Lauren, like, I even have, she was wearing a hat. I go through a stage of where I want all the dolls looking warm, looking summery season. <laughs> so, yeah, anyways, oh, I shouldn't have prepared this video better. Um, number nine, are you a member of any Facebook dolling groups and clubs, etc.? Uh, Julie mentioned in her video that she is part of a Facebook group where she created and she has me as an admin and Carrie as an admin. There's a few more admins that uh, stepped up to the plate, which is amazing. We're all, I love it. I love the group so much. Uh, I've never seen a group of caring and loving personalities and I just feel so comfortable there. We don't only share about our dollies. We share about like our lives, the troubles we might want to vent about, uh, 
we discuss it in there we support each other and it's a really lovely place um i am part of other facebook dolling groups but only like selling kind i think i oh i am part of a few other groups um there's not as much interaction on them though um maybe because uh they're quite large and i don't know everyone in that group i get a little leery if the group is too large and i don't want to share too much information so oh um, but i am part of julia's group every day which i really love um and number 10 do you speak openly to your hobby to everyone i have posted on my personal facebook that i do collect the dolls and i do have a youtube channel because when i reach milestones with youtube i love to celebrate and i do let the world know on my facebook um in my actual life uh the workplace i have bring in i bring in oh my goodness i have brought dolls to work before and showed them and everyone loved them uh, a few people were like but they're all so kind about it um i could tell a few of them were uncomfortable around them but as for the most part i got a lot of positive uh, feedback and my family knows about them of course um so it's not like i go around saying yeah everybody oh and i have like merch shirts that i wear around town so yes i it's fine like i'll have a picture of myself like it's actually it's like that big but on a t-shirt i have that image on a t-shirt it's just me with maybe my baby friend's cradle so i do wear that shirt around town like you like in the summer and i've had people like look at it but that's fine <laughs> i don't mind i don't mind sharing um i don't go around though and say hey like i don't do addings i guess so but <laughs> i don't know <laughs> anyways julia thank you for the fun tag hopefully i didn't ramble on and hopefully i answered the moment that i want um, this video is just so but anyways guys i hope that you're having a great day thank you so much for being here and thank you for spending some time with me and as always until next time guys and here's what that i was seeing and she went for you